Ready to start. Whenever you're ready, Shelly. All right. Sorry. I was trying to do my other thing. Okay. All right. So Reggie sent me a message and asked me to talk about what what I'm always telling people about how a Lou can possibly carry the platinum gene. I'm going to say greater than 99% of the time, a leucistic is never going to be platinum pet. There is only one leucistic glider that I have found the genetics for in any backing up documentation that has passed the platinum gene, and that is Sunshine. Sunshine is the um, mother to one of my gliders, Bosley. Bosley's twin sister, Miranda, is a mosaic and she inherited the platinum gene for sure because who she is paired to the way the way her pairing is they have had platinum gliders and could only do so if sunshine actually passed the the, the platinum gene on so what i did is i have a page on my website that explains I think it explains it. It may not be really clear, um, but basically explains it that for the most part when you guys are seeing a platinum glider and a leucistic glider paired together, if they produce leucistic offspring, that leucistic glider is not going to be platinum head. The only exceptions to that rule is going to be the gliders out of Sunshine's line. Those gliders can technically be called leucistic plat head because her line is proven to pass both genes, but it's still very unlikely that the gliders are going to be platinum head as well. So Miranda it. seems to be the only time it's ever been proven to happen. Um, there's actually a few different gliders that I've got the links to on my website um, that kind of back up that. But the fact, but I guess the only point that I want to make on it is that although it doesn't happen very often, it's it's never happened in any other of the leucistic lines or the leucistic plat pairing lines. But since it has happened, I don't feel that we can say it will never happen again. I just think that people need to understand that it's not normal. It's not. It, it, if, and if it's not a glider out of that sunshine line, then you should not be referring to your leucistic as being a platinum head. Agreed? Anybody have questions? Can you post those links? On here? Yeah. I. How do. Or just your website. That's true. How do I how do I post it on here? Hold on, I can do it. What's your website again, dear? Glidernursery.com. And it's a little odd to find, though. How do you, how do you post it on here? Um, if, do you see the chat on the right? No. Okay, on the left, uh -huh. there's a little blue chat thing that you can click on. It says Q and A, or the chat. Sure. There it is. And then you can see where there you, you go. Can post it. Got it. There you go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sunshine may be a freak of nature, but <laughs> I, I just <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I just read that with all due affection. <laughs> yeah, but, but you're right. You're right because yeah. that is the only one that does. And, and remember how I we were having a conversation on the one Facebook group. I said if somebody can logically explain this to me so it makes sense. I'll go with it, but you until mean then. Why Sunshine does her thing? No, no, no. Why? Well, no. The the or, reason, the only reason that we can come up with that Sunshine is the exception to the rule is somehow the gene morphed. So yep. the gene is slightly different than the normal platinum and the normal Lou combination. So okay. it's almost like we've got plat lines, we've got Lou lines, and we've got a morphed line. 
yeah. Sunshine, that would be the easiest way to explain it, is Sunshine is the morph line. She's the weird line. She's the one that doesn't follow the rules. Yeah. Uh, and the easiest way for me to explain this, because I suck at the Putnam Square. This is how I, I explain it. teaching the Putnam Square in a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I, I still suck at it. Um, I'm just telling you. <laughs> but I, I do it this way. You know how everybody, and, and we don't, let's be honest, we don't 100% know all this information is factual. It's just based on our breeding experience that we pass this information on. And what we but, know about normal recessive and dominance. Right. So what we think is the plat well, we know the platinum and the leucistic genes interact together. Somehow they work together. Right? So they're on the same allele. And, and as I say, we also think they're on the same allele. So without doing the putnam square, I can explain this easier using a circle, like a piece of like a pie. If you draw a circle on a piece of paper, okay? I should have drawn this out. <laughs> if you draw a circle on the piece of paper, and divide it in half. That, you, that circle is your allele. Only two genes, one from the mom and one from the g dad, can fill that circle, right? Make sense? Okay, so if dad is a Lou, the only thing he can pass is a Lou gene, right? So half of your circle is filled with the leucistic gene. If mom passes the platinum gene, the other half of the circle is filled with a platinum gene. Our circle is now full, right? Two halves make a whole. Nothing else fits in there. If you've got the Lou gene and the platinum gene, it's going to express itself as a platinum glider. You're going to physically see a platinum glider. That's the phenotype. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you take that exact same concept, whole brand new brand new piece of pie, brand a brand new circle here. Dad passes the Lou gene down. Okay? So half of it's full of leucistic, and if mom happens to be a platinum leucistic het, and she passed the leucistic gene down, that circle is now full. It's got a Lou gene on one side, a Lou gene on the other side. That glider is going to be expressed as a leucistic glider, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, if you've got that circle, that allele, half of it's full of a Lou gene, the other half is full of a Lou gene, there's no room for a platinum gene to fit in there which is why 99% of the time that platinum gene can't sneak in there, there's no room for it, it can't be a platinum head. It will only be a leucistic sugar glider. Yeah. To me, to me that's the simplest way and to in, explain in, it. Mm -hmm. And in my belief, it, there was a mutation in Miranda. There had to have been a mutation in Sunshine for her to be able to have... Sunshine is a leucistic. She passed the platinum gene. She should not have been able to carry that platinum gene. But she only passed it once. So it may have mutated in Miranda instead of in Sunshine. How did she have it? That doesn't explain how Sunshine got it. Something had to, something had to have happened when Sunshine was genetically developed. For her to be able to have both, the, both Lou genes from both parents and a platinum gene. How, again, how could that platinum gene fit into that allele? I think it had to have happened. It had to have happened on in, on Sunshine's part first for her to have the ability to pass it to any of her offspring. I mean, regardless of where it came from. I mean, actually, if you really want to look at it that way, it was Sunshine's mother, Comet. Now, I will tell you, somebody else told me that that one of Comet's offspring did the same thing, but it's not in the database, so I can't back it up. Yeah. Theoretic yeah. Theoretically, this has happened with at least two different offspring from the comment line, but I can't. I, if I can't prove it, it didn't happen. Yeah. Well, I can't say it didn't happen, but I can't prove it happened. Yeah. I can't back it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's no explanation for that one, but. No. I'm going to be teaching the rest of the genetics. The other 99.9%. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions?
it's all clear as mud. Everybody knows that every leucistic glider is definitely going to carry the platinum gene now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. Anybody have any more questions? Just like out of like pure curiosity. Because I'm not exactly straight on this whole gene allele thing anyways, but would it be possible for those two genes to actually be one and just come out differently in different lines? Could they be what? Could they would it even be possible for them to be the same gene, but in different lines come out as plats, and then in different lines come out as loos? And that's why it would be possible to get the hets in the way not, that... Not normally. You're going to get a het if only one of the parents passed the gene. Okay? Now, in a, in a traditional recessive, forget the loo and plat combination, just say cremino, for example. In order to get a cremino het, one parent is going to pass the cremino gene. The other parent is not. Okay? That's how you're going to get a het. So if you had, if you if you have a leucistic and a platinum paired together, the leucistic can only pass a lu gene. And, and it's going to depend on what other genes the platinum has. If the platinum is a platinum that is also a Lou Het, or if it's a platinum out of just platinum genes and no Lou genes. If it Wait. passes... So how come a plat can be a Lou Het, but a Lou can't be a plat Het except for that one instance? I will teach that in a little bit. <laughs> the, the reason... No, well, that's that's what I... I don't, I don't know who's asking and where they chimed in. But did you hear where I was giving the example of the circle? A little bit. I was. My husband was distracting with the baby. Oh, how dare he! Um, <laughs> I I gotta find a pen. Hold on one second here. Hold on. Yeah, we've got some new babies, so they're very distracting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. <laughs> You're not sorry. Not at all. <laughs> okay. Can you guys see this? Will it work? Okay, it's going to show yeah. up back. Is it showing up backwards to you guys? No. Okay. No, it shows up straight. Okay, so what, what I'm showing here is the pretend the circle is the allele. Okay? Yeah. A leucistic glider is going to get the loo gene from the mom and a loo gene from the dad, right? Yeah. In order for it to actually be a leucistic in color. Okay, so you see how the two halves of the circle are full, right? Yeah. No other color genes can fit in there right now. Okay? Now, if we have a platinum that is also 100% loo het, and I'm doing this very, very simple. Okay, that is my platinum 100% Lou Het. Dad passed the Lou down, Mom passed the platinum down. That <laughs> glider physically appears to be a platinum glider, but it also carries the Lou gene because it has the Lou and the plat. And that's See about that? 90% of our current platinum gliders. <laughs> that's about what? 90% of our Correct. current platinum gliders. Correct. So now when you have... This platinum luhet paired with the platinum glider, you got mom and dad here, they're going to produce offspring. Okay, so this circle is going to be the offspring, right? Dad can only pass one of his two lu genes down, so you have a lu there, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to, for this example, say that the mom also passed the lu gene. So that glider has two Lou genes, therefore it's a leucistic glider, right? Yeah. Okay, so that allele has two halves to it. Only two genes could fit in there. And again, this is on the very simplest of basic explanations I can ever offer. And I'll there get is, into it a little right, bit. I, I know. I, but, there, but there is no room for a platinum gene to fit in there, right? Right. 
Okay, therefore it can't be platinum het. It does. It doesn't fit. Now, with the one exception we're referring to, I'm gonna cross that off and put an M because it's some kind of a morph gene that we truly don't understand. And that's why the sunshine line has done that. We can't explain it, anything right now beyond the fact that it's happened. It's somehow morphed, it doesn't follow the rules, which is why over 99% of your gliders, if they're from out of a plat and a loo parent, you're going to have 100% color offspring and the leucistic gliders are not going to be platinum head. Did that ex answer that question for you? What if they're both plat 100% loo heads and you get a loo? Then the ex same scenario. If you get a loo, the only way you can get a loo is if they both parents passed a loo gene down. And if you've got two loo genes in there, it can only be a leucistic sugar glider. Then that means the platinum genes did not pass down at all. If one platinum gene passes and one loo gene passes, it will be a it will be a platinum sugar glider. If two leucistic genes pass, it will be a leucistic sugar glider. If it's the scenario where, well, I wrote those backwards, but if it's a scenario where the one parent pa passes the leucistic gene and the other parent passes the platinum gene, you're going to have a plat sugar glider, and it's going to be 100% loo head. Can you see that? It looks blurry on my screen. Okay, so that's that's why every platinum sugar glider that's paired with a loo is guaranteed to carry the loo gene. Because that's because it needed the two genes to create the platinum. But it needs the two loo genes to create a loo, which is why there's no room in that circle for a plat gene. That's my high-tech designer tools there. I got a PowerPoint. <laughs> I have a PowerPoint too. I didn't think to do it for this. I didn't know I could share that kind of stuff on here. Oh yes. Are, I are, there, the chat. are there any platinum lines that don't have glue in them? Yes. Yes. They um, all started that way. Beatrice, oh, Beatrice, um, which is the silver belt, silver belt line. Is yeah. pure well until they crossed them. Until they crossed them, Silver Bell is the pure platinum line. And you can get two platinum hats. You just have to know how to do it. Um, I will start my PowerPoint now. <laughs> you suck. What? I said you suck. You cheated. Well, no, I I designed this just for this. Okay. All right. So, leucistic and platinum genetics. This is when a glider is a platinum with no... Whoops, back it up. Crap. Hold on. You and your PowerPoint. Hey, okay. So, this is when you have a silver bow platinum that has no loo and a leucistic. Okay, you've got the platinum gene, and that's all this glider is offering. There's two copies of the platinum gene. And you have the leucistic gene... And all this glider is throwing is leucistic genes. When they cross, every single one of these offspring is a platinum 100% loo hat. There are no loos, there are no platinums without loo. That's because this is how we learned initially how these genes work, because you put two different colors together and you always get one color out of that. That's how we learn that platinum is, they're both recessive, but platinum is dominant over leucistic. Does this make sense? With that, the female? That, that, doesn't, that doesn't prove to be the case in my breeding scenario. Uh, when you have platinum 100% loo head, that's different. But these are truly platinums with no loo. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Never mind. Yep, yep Sorry. we got no loo. We'll get to the loo heads later. In a minute. Okay, now we're going to go back and learn het. For those who don't know it, um, this I'm just going to the basics so people know how to run the het and why we use what percentage that we do. This is two 100% loo hats. I don't see anything, but 
Yeah, All right. you see it says leucistic, platinum genetics, teaspoon of sugar. I don't see anything else. Yeah, same here. You're not ch changing your screen for us. Yeah, yeah, you're not changing your screen. You're just sharing a single screen. Hold on. Love the PowerPoint. <laughs> my <laughs> normal piece of paper worked just fine. There we go. <laughs> yep. Technology okay. is best. This is what I was pointing to that apparently nobody could see. <laughs> um, with the loose stick with no platinum hat, well, you know, we already talked about that, but loose stick and then a platinum. The platinum is always blue in my examples, and the loo is always yellow. They each have one copy of each, and they each end up being platinum color. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now this is your basic Lou hat combination. The leucistics are grays, but they have a Lou gene and a gray gene. These are 100% Lou hats. Um, the way they combine is you have one glider out of four that's a Lou. Two copies of the Lou gene. Now, this is where we learn what a 66% Lou head is. Because there is a Lou gene over here, but Guys, just one. Quiet. There's another Lou gene over here, but just one. And this one has no Lou gene. However, all three of these gliders look exactly the same. Like, they don't look Lou. They don't have it. Sometimes people think they've got special coloring, but I'm not going to get into that. Okay? These three gliders look exactly the same. So you don't know if they're this one, this one, or that one. So what we say is that these gliders are 66% Lou Hat. They've got a chance of having two out of three chances of having the gene. Does that make sense? Yes. Yep. Okay. Now here's where I see a lot of people goofing up. Same scenario. Except one of them is a platinum hat instead of a blue hat. The one colored glider is a platinum. But the genetics are different over here in the grays. Because one gray has a blue gene, one gray has a platinum gene, and one has none. This is why they're not 50% hats, they're 33% hats. Because they've got three different chances. One chance of having a plat gene. One chance of having a loo gene, and one chance of having just grays. But you don't know this until they breed. Which is why you'll see some people call them 50% hats, but they're not. They're not double het, and there's no there's not a 50%. It's 33 and 33. Alright. This is what happens when you do a platinum loo hat, which is most of our platinums. And a leucistic hat. This glider um, is just a gray loo hat, and this is a platinum with a loo hat. One of the offspring will be a platinum because it gets the P and the L. One glider will be a leucistic because it got both of the L's. One will be a loo hat, one will be a plat hat. Now, in this case, there are no grays that have no recessive genetics. Like in the last example, we had gliders that got the luck of the draw of nothing. This time, we don't have that. Every glider carries a gene, even when they're gray. You just don't know whether it's the platinum or the loo. Now, these gliders are labeled, some people say, 100% loo or plat hat, or I like to label them 50-50 plat loo hat. Because you know they carry a gene, you just won't know which one until you breed them properly. Okay? This is when you have a platinum with no plat hat, or with no loo hat, bred to a leucistic hat. Now, I actually have an example of this um, in my genetics, Regan and Jocelyn. Woohoo! Um, my favorite. I'll get to it in a second. Um, I can share that lineage later, but he is a platinum with no loo, and she is 100% loo hat. She's actually a mosaic as well, but that doesn't come in in the recessives. 
half of the offspring will be platinum, and the other half will be platinum het. And the platinums that they make will be 100% luhet because that lu gene that works with the platinum to make these gliders into platinum. But all of the grays end up being platinum het. That is how you know it's 100% platinum het. But this platinum, daddy in this case, has to have no lu. Otherwise, you end up with the 50-50. Okay? This is when you have a gray no het. Um, so you have a platinum 100% lu het father and a gray female with no lu, no het. Half the gliders will get a platinum gene and half the gliders will get a leucistic gene. But none of them will end up colored. Those ones are also 50-50 plat or lu het. And every single one is a 100% het, but we're not sure which color they're carrying. And lastly, the most common breeding we currently have is the platinum 100% luhet parent with a leucistic parent. This is what a lot of people are breeding together. And so the lu parent only gives lu genes. And the plat gives the plat gene to half and the lu gene to half. So your offspring will always be either platinum, 100% luhet, or leucistic. This is why, like she was saying earlier, there's no room for a platinum gene down here. If they got the platinum gene, they would be platinum color. Um, labels that you need to investigate. Leucistic with any percentage platinum het. Now, she talked about how the one line is doesn't follow the rules. I'm talking about the rest of them. Yeah, so so when you, not, see, when you see me advertise and it doesn't follow these rules, it's not because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, okay. But I'm just talking about for the rest of them. You need to investigate if these things are. Do not invest your money into a leucistic, supposedly a platinum het, because the most most often you're going to find that it's not a platinum het. So don't count on a lu being a platinum het. Ever. Even with that line, don't count on it being a platinum Correct. het. That is, I, agree. <laughs> I agree with that. 100% um, platinum het with any lu het. It is not 100% platinum het if it is lu het. You need to look back into the thing and find out what's happening with those genetics. What gene did that glider get? Because it's not a plat hat and a loo hat. That's not possible. Except for our freaks of nature in the one line. Because <laughs> um, Shannon's gliders have gone on to prove that is true. What do you mean? Um, Bernard. That's right. Like I said, he's from the freaking nature line. <laughs> my, my gliders are my gliders are freaks. I gotta admit. I, that one line just defies all the rules. Okay, I'm just teaching the rules. <laughs> um, so you need to look into it if there's such and such platinum head, especially 100% platinum head. If I advertise a 100% platinum head out of my pair that I know is 100% platinum head babies. There is no percentage lu het. It's zero. No lu het. Um, or you could say 100% platinum or lu het, but don't be deceived thinking you have a platinum het when it might be a lu het. That's what I'm concerned that you guys understand. Um, and the 50% leucistic het, 50% platinum het without a platinum parent. That's actually a 33 33. And that's where things, that's where, you know, you may think you have a higher chance of having genes than you actually do. You do have a 66% chance with this glider of having a gene, but you're not sure which one. Um, and then you actually already got into the Sunshine, Miranda, Liani, and Adrian. <laughs> I put that in case I was the only speaker. Um, this time we got Haley versus Silverbell. 
Now, I am not an expert on this. I'm just going to share what I do know. This is a Desmond. He is a silver bell platinum. He has really light markings, and typically the body is a lot lighter. Um, they originated in the Flying Fur Ranch, and Silver Bell was the first platinum. And I have a link to the lineage. I'll post the PowerPoint on Glider Talk. Um, Silver Bell platinums can be found without Leucisticat. They are usually significantly lighter than Haley platinums. And all Silver Bell platinums are derived from Dandy, Silver Bell, Sun, and Hazel. So all Silver Bells go back to Dandy and Hazel. And they're usually a lot lighter than the Haley Platinum. This is my Regan. He's a Haley Platinum and a Silver Bell, but his appearance is a Haley Platinum. Um, they originated with Haley, and she was a random... She was the first Platinum ever seen in that line. They're usually darker than Silver Bell. See, we had up here, we have, he's got really, really light markings and almost white, whereas he's got really dark markings. Um, and almost all of Haley Platinum's are Leucistic Hat, because Haley herself was 100% Lou Hat. So that is usually the difference. Um, Haley Platinum's have been known to be very, very dark, like Shelly knows. <laughs> I, I have had a couple gliders that I was almost afraid to publicly say that they were platinums because I was afraid people are going to go, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about because they were they were so dark. But genetically, that's all they could have been. Well, and that's where you got confused for a little bit because you thought they were grays. Well, no, I wasn't really confused. Genetically, that's all they can be, and I knew that from day yeah. one. It's more like what people say is to it's 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 what you're advertising your gliders to be and what people's perception of looking at a photo what they are. Yeah. Because I I do have a couple of them that are fairly dark. Can I share pictures on here? Yep, you can. The little green thing underneath is screen share. You the can green? do it the way I did, or you can actually attach it. Okay. It'll take me a second to get it on my computer. That's okay. The easiest way I've found to go back in lineage on the pet glider is to literally just start with the ones furthest back, which is like what the great grandparents normally on the page, and just right click all of them into new tabs and just keep doing that until you reach now, the Can you guys see that picture? Did I do it right? Yes. Okay. You guys see how dark those lines of that head stripe is and how dark the markings are on this glider? That's where I was afraid most people are going to say there's no way that's platinum because the stripe is not the typical taupe or light, lighter brown or whatever, however you want to describe their stripe. Um, their fur color is the darker platinum, but their stripe is really dark, but it's very narrow, which is indicative of the platinum gene as well. They usually have a much thinner back stripe. But those are the ones I was referring to that are actually darker plaques. Yep, there are some really dark ones. Yeah, that's just the fastest picture I knew where it was at. Yeah, no, I know you said in the beginning, though, there was one or two that you thought your Platt and Lou were making grays. Okay, here's why I did that. When that very first one was born, okay, when that first Joey was born, it's out of a platinum and a Lou parent, by the way, which genetically means it had has to be either a plat or a Lou. When I posted pictures of that, let's keep in mind that this was what two or three years ago. I just want people to understand this, you know. Right, and that's yeah, and I'm I'm cool with that because I think I even changed it in the database. I'm the the one who said I have the only plat and Lou pair that have produced standard grays because when I published the photos of this glider, everybody was like, oh, that's a gray. 
I even sent the pictures to Priscilla at the Pet Glider. I said, I need to play a game with you. She says, okay, cool. What are we doing? I said, I'm going to show you pictures of different gliders. Please tell me visually, obviously she can't tell me genetically, but visually, what are these gliders? And when she got to the one, she says, well, that's a standard gray. Another one was a leucistic. Another one was a platinum. And I said, well, here's the funny thing. That's mom. That's dad. That's baby. How do I have a standard gray? <laughs> and everybody who has seen that picture up until how long ago was that conversation uh, on the, like a month two months three two months, months ago maybe up until yeah. two months ago everybody and I do mean everybody in multiple multiple breeders in those pictures said yes that's a standard gray I'll be honest I, I can't say it's not because that was the darkest I'll see if I can find that picture but that was yeah, the darkest let me see if Only I can find one it one person told you it wasn't a gray though that was <laughs> Adri was like, I've been telling you all along. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, only, but, but so, okay, now let's, let's just play devil's advocate here. Genetically, that is very correct. But, let's see if I can find that picture. But when only one breeder out there says what it is, says it's gray and everybody else under the sun says it's, I'm sorry, only one says it's platinum and everybody else says it's gray, what do you go with? Oh, absolutely, I'm not doubting where you're at right now. I'm just trying to explain for everybody else. Right. <laughs> no, I no, we we've talked about it. I know where you I know. <laughs> I just want the other people listening to understand. So anybody have any questions? Other than where is that photo? <laughs> I'm working on it. Oh no, I'm just saying. Does anybody have any questions? You know. I do. Um. Why can't Why can't a platinum and a leucistic ever produce a gray? Oh, you should have been here. You missed it, Reggie. Well, I mean, I was here the entire time. For right. every, I just don't understand why they can't be gray. Because, because there's no room for a gray gene. Oh. I'll show you in a second, Reggie. Okay, uh, start screen share. Here is the here is the glider that originally everybody said could not be a platinum glider. It does have somewhat of a thinner stripe, but back towards its hips, it's a little wider than normal. It's a black head stripe. It's not even a lighter color. And it's got a slightly lighter color to the fur. And that is a cell phone picture. So obviously the quality is not that great. That was taken with a Blackberry a few years ago. But that is the glider that everybody told me was a standard gray. And now everybody's telling me it's a dark platinum. Because we've learned so much more about platinum since then and genetics and how dark platinums can get. Yes. So and I guess what Adri was the one who taught everybody and she's the one who was saying all along. But again, you can't just go with one person, especially right. when so many other people are saying something. But I guess I guess the point of what you guys should take out of that is when you're seeing, and this is going to be a sad, sad comment to say, because most of the time when we look at a picture, we're very quick to say, oh, that's not that color. That's this, or that's you have it labeled wrong. Unfortunately, some of us can throw a plat out there for you and tell you it's a plat, and we're going to be asking around that $1,000 mark for the price, and you're going to be going, that's a gray. What are you guys talking about? So you got to trust your breeders. You got That's one of the keys about going with a reputable breeder. Go with somebody who knows what they're talking about and knows their lines. Or you definitely need to research the lines before you buy it. Reggie, are you there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. You see my PowerPoint <laughs> presentation? <laughs> it's not working. I can't see it when I hold it up. Can you see this? Yeah. Yes, we can see that. Okay. The, the circles represent an allele, Reggie. And each... Um, allele only pulls in two genes, can only hold two genes, and then it's full. So on the one side here, you've got a leucistic glider. It has two copies of the Lu gene, and that's why it's a Lu. Right? Yeah. 
Okay, I, I really can't see this. This is a platinum glider that's also 100% Luhet. So this glider has platinum gene and a Lu gene. So when it has one of each genes, it's going to be physically expressed as a platinum glider. So it's platinum, 100% Luhet. Correct? Yep. Okay. Now, forget, pretend this has two L's because you missed that whole conversation. If mom or dad, whatever, passes when you have your offspring, the only gene that this one can pass is a new gene, right? Yeah. Because that's all it has. This one can pass either the plat or the lu. So in this case, it passed the lu gene also. It's got two lu genes. There is no more room in there for a platinum gene. So if this is a leucistic glider, it cannot possibly be a platinum head because there's no room for that platinum gene to fit in there. And on the other side of the coin, if this one can only pass the lu gene, if this one passes the plat gene, which I think is my example here, you've got the allele has the plat gene and the lu gene, that one is going to be physically expressed as a platinum, 100% lu head. Oh, okay. And that's like the simplest explanation I can give you. But neither of those gliders is passing a gray gene to that allele. Correct. Which is why you don't get a gray glider. Nadine. Yes. That looks like a plat to me. It's a silver bell. Yep. Aww. Oh, no, share about their genetics. No, oh, come on, here we go. Okay. Um, I've got my, this is a trio. Um, Jordan is from the Pet Glider, and he is from the Chance Platinum line. Um, and and uh, the mama is a 50% blue head mosaic female. And she popped out Silver Bell flat. Is that the so, can you look at that? <laughs> Post the lineage. Oh, God. Give me a second, and I will. Post me the lineage, and you can pick up just about everything. Is Reggie on there? Yes, Reggie's on. What's up, Reggie? You know what? That's a very interesting situation, Stephanie. I was just um, going to say, I just, looked, I just noticed this whole chat on the side again. Um, you've got my your lineage. You've got my crazy line. <laughs> well, no, 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 wait a minute. No, actually, hold on. But I hate when you put 100% because they're never 100%. Well, you okay, first off, let's realize when this stuff was put in the database. I didn't just put this in within the last six months. So when all this started, okay, see that, guys, that's something else you have to look at, too. Don't necessarily judge because I'm a lazy breeder and I don't go in and <laughs> change everything because it's, almost, it's not that our standards have changed. It's our descriptions have changed of how we do things. When we first started breeding these plats and lose together, whatever they were on paper, that's what we called them. So on paper, 
if you looked at it like any other simple recessive gene, it would be a leucistic 100% plat het. That's how they were listed. We haven't all gone back in with all of our different gliders and changed all of that. Okay, so sometimes you're going to see stuff wrong in the database. Doesn't technically it's wrong, um, but it's not there to mislead people. It's just because I really don't have time to go back and change every single animal that's in there, and I should. I really should. Well, I well, didn't mean to shame you like that. I just meant. No. no. Oh, she's talking about your line. Yeah, but, but, you ready for this? This is not the line that works that way. This is, um, this is a Haley line. If you go through Nala, click on Nala's name, you, and then you go down, you will see it goes back to Noel and Frodo. Frodo and Noel, wait a minute, is Frodo and Noel Haley, Haley's parents? Uh, I think it's a couple. Boogie and Alex are her parents, I thought. Or it might be. I feel like Boogie's her dad, but I'm I think sure. I think so. I'm gonna see if Tiana's her sister. No. Tiana's Boogie. Tiana's Boogie's sister. Oh, it says Tiana's Boogie's daughter. I'm sorry, daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I don't see... See... I can't believe I can't think of this. Who in the world... Bailey is her dad. I think is so. Boogie is her uncle. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Okay. So here, here's the thing. When you're, is this Stephanie? Stephanie, when you're looking at this particular lineage, you're not going to see. If you just go back, you're not necessarily going to see a platinum glider, which is kind of why it was odd that Tanner showed up as a platinum because we proved out a very low percentage possible plat head. What you have to understand is that the platinum lines didn't actually start with Haley. Haley had to get the genes from her parents. Okay. Now I don't I don't know with with Haley if it was so much that Bailey is the one who passed the plat gene, or if it was Little Dipper who her mom. But either way, when you go back, I kind of look at Frodo and Noel as being as being um. More of the founding lines of the of the Haley Platinum. Okay? okay. Do you understand what I'm saying there? Gotcha. Okay, cool. So yeah, that that particular line is not the freak of nature line. If you're looking at the freak of nature line from my gliders, it's going to be Bosley is the dad, and it's Beatrice and Bosley that is the pair. And Beatrice is a pure silver bell het, so she's standard gray in color. And then Bosley is theoretically just 100% blue het, but he's passed both genes on. Or they, they have passed both genes on, I should say. I thought Little Dipper was the blue het. I, I haven't really looked. I, I don't. I'm I, looking. I, yeah, Little yeah. Dipper is 100 percent Lou Head. Okay. So he got so the platinum then, from Bailey. Yeah. So it comes from Bailey, and yeah, so. ba that's right because ba Bailey's out of Frodo and Noel. So yep. Frodo and Noel is where your platinum lines start. It's not really the Haley line. It's the Frodo and Noel line. But nobody gives Frodo and Noel the credit because they're not a pretty platinum like Haley was. Yes. <laughs> and she was the first one, it, just like Silverbell, yeah. you know, there's other genetics before that, but Silverbell is the one where you go, hey, look, a different color! Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, your Maggie May, okay, I'm looking at the other lineage we've got. 
for um, for Dub. Um, oh, let me get out of the Haley stuff. Okay, so Maggie May is a hundred percent Lou Het if you're producing platinum because you've got yeah because you've only got Lou Het on her side. And then, oh God, you've got the chance line. I quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can't even go with chance because chance, that's another one that defies everything. Chance should not even be a platinum. No. Uh, because he comes from the Albino line. Yet. We don't know enough about that to go there yet. What right. happened? You, you have another freak of nature. Yep. Congratulations. <laughs> it's yeah, not going to be. Yeah, that's right. The Chance Platinum, at first I thought it was the combination between the Lou hat and the Albino hat, but they've gone on to reproduce it, so it doesn't even make sense. And he's a pretty boy, and the darker color his head is almost like silver mouth color, but the rest of it is like Haley. See, and that could be another twist. I mean, these genes, the thing, if you know anything about actual genetics, like geneticists and people who study genetics, there are occasionally little mutations. And so, who knows if we have two different mutations in the platinum lines that could be creating this sunshine issue and the chance one. But I don't know enough to really go there. All we know is that's another weird one, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately. Let's I make mean, a pair on each line and see what happens. <laughs> right? Well, I think it's all on the same allele, though. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's not as... Hold on. No, because charmed ones are out of real platinum. Sorry, I'm still digging into your... You have actual platinum genes back there. Yeah, platinum and Lou. So, yeah, Jordan is just a platinum 100% Lou hat. Oh, that's easy. Ah. I thought it was the chance crap because it's albino, but it's not. Because if you look, okay. Uh, when you picked him up, that's what never told me he was out of. Uh -oh. My screen. And okay, so here's the lineage, everybody. Um, here's his Joey over here, his female, who's a Lou hat, and his male. But you look at Charmed Ones and you see this platinum right here, Lorenzo. Lorenzo. We click on him. He goes back to platinums that I'm familiar with. These are normal platinum. And this is a ringtail 100% Lou hat. So it's cut and dried normal. Just because it's combined with albino, 100% Lou Hat doesn't make it not the normal plat pain. Because this is a double hat because they combined a Lou with an albino, so you had a 100% double hat. So this one care. Whoops. So they carried the Lou gene down with them all the way to your Lorenzo, or. Oh, there we are. Juliana's 100% double head. So this glider carried the Lou gene, and this glider is a platinum, so these girls are platinums. Does that make sense? Yep. So you got normal genetics going on. There's nothing weird about it. They're just way back then. Yeah, you just have to dig for it a little bit. Oh, there's your sterile line coming in. Yeah, bro. But anyway, that's what I 
up to Korea? Kathy, any comments? No. no. Okay, and FYI, I just went through all of Tanner's leucistic joeys and removed the comment that they're 100% flathead in the database. Okay. So now I'm not such a slacker breeder. I did my job. <laughs> well, it's not the slacker. It's the I don't okay, like. Okay, that wait. I'm a slacker. Don't don't slacker. <laughs> Thank you. I just didn't want your customers thinking they got. I'm okay. We, we all know I'm with them all. Whatever. We're all slackers in different ways. I do still have the one in there as a as a standard gray though. Hundred percent flat hat, hundred percent blue hat. Oh, well go <laughs> fix it. <laughs> oh, I'm leaving that one in there just to mess with you. Oh, just to drive me nuts. Absolutely. <laughs> The good news is I don't dig in the database that much. I'm just going to get to it one day and be like, oh, shit. <laughs> but you know, you know how you're saying that the um, platinum is dominant over cystic in color? Yes. So in theory, if you have a platinum and a loo paired together, you should get more platinum offspring than you loo offspring. Mm, not necessarily. Why not if it's dominant? But it's still like, okay, if you have a mosaic with a gray, you know it's a dominant gene. And theoretically 50%. 50%, exactly. 50% will be. So, so again, if you're, if you're saying plat is dominant over loo, then okay, then I should get 50% plats, 50% loos. Yes. And of course, by the way, when we say that, you guys, it doesn't mean every one out of two is going to be one or the other. That's yeah. over the time. And if we stop breeding, you don't know what the next 10 years would have brought you. But currently, mine don't show that. Yeah. I have 20 joeys, of which one, two, three, four, six have been platinum. See, and that's just you get you got the that's just sick. <laughs> not necessarily. I don't have a problem with my blue baby. Well, no, I'm just saying. It's no, no, I was no, I was doing that to I was doing that to prove that you're not going to get literally 50% one color, 50% another. Yeah, unless your glider's name is Emily and she's producing uh, white faces and grays. <laughs> Sorry, my one girl was very good about like white face gray, two grays. Okay, now two white faces. <laughs> she kept herself exactly at fifty percent, <laughs> but that's rare. The thing is, the fifty percent is. Every one of those squares is an opportunity for your gliders. Every Joey can pick a square, basically, genetically in the raffle. So they could all pick the same square. You know, we had, oh, Peggy with her Cremino's. She had two gliders that were low hat Cremino's. Now, the low hat means that they have a small chance of carrying it, but the fact of the matter is, with hats, they either carry it or they don't. You just don't know. <laughs> um, but it was two years before they produced a Cremino, producing all and, sorts and of other lighters. And she was very surprised at that. Yeah. And, but technically, it should have been every fourth lighter if it was over the big picture, but it took her a long time to get one. Just because that's how the genetics shook out. So. Any questions? Any, anything? Should we stop being live? <laughs> I have a question. Um, I know that like leucistic hides things like white face and mosaic. 
Does yeah. platinum do the same thing? No. No, and it's because you can see it. It's not that it hides it per se. It's the fact that the leucistic means that they are solid white. Right. So um, white on white, you can't physically see white on white. Yeah. But white yeah. on silver, being your platinum, white on silver, you're going to see. It's two different colors. Sarah, are you still there? Uh. Yes, I'm here. Okay, go get Rylan. He's in my shirt. Well, then turn up, turn your camera on and bring him out. Are we showing off my, my beautiful TPM? Yes. <laughs> Come here, baby boy. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I need to clip nails. Yeah. Okay, okay. second years. This little boy is a platinum, but he's also a mosaic. You can see it on him. You can see he's got the platinum stripe. And you can see... I mean, Dove also has a picture up of a TPM, but you can see the different colorations on him where there's Actually, white. Actually, she's just a white face, silver male. Oh, that's a white face too? Yeah, it's a white face, silver male. And that's why with platinum, you can see the leucistic, or you can see the mosaic, mosaic. and you can see the white face. No. Shoot. Jason, help. Jason, help. I got a yeah, foot. foot. <laughs> oh, I just lost him. Oh. And we have a TPM in the couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right back. Okay. But I just wanted you guys to see that coloration. With the, with the, with the dominant with the dominant gene, the mosaic and the white face. You can see them expressed on any color of sugar glider except the leucistic because the white of the leucistic is masking it. So that's how you can have a cremino mosaic or a platinum mosaic. Okay. And albino, true. Yeah, albino and lube because they're solid white. You know, with that glider she was showing you, you can see the white on him that a platinum normally doesn't have. Because platinum has some color, you can see when there's absence of color. That's true. Ruby loses as well. <laughs> but so Ruby Lou is not going to be completely absent of color. It's supposed to be. Then how did some of them show stripes on them? It shouldn't have a stripe on a Ruby Lou. Maybe I'm thinking Unless of it. it's like a um, oh. staining. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking of a different glider. Picture of a different glider. Maybe because a ruby Lou yeah. is supposed to be a leucist genetically a leucistic and a cremino at the same time. It doesn't, it doesn't have, have to be leucistic. That's Not what it's different. supposed to be. Unless things have changed since I decided to educate myself. <laughs> yep. It's a, that's why I would, I would refer to him as Ruby Lou because Ruby Lou indicates that he's leucistic in the genetics. And there was a big hot topic discussion about that. So that's why I would refer to them as a double recessive because it's not a color in itself anyway. It is. It's a double recessive. When people say it's a Ruby Lou hat, that's completely inaccurate. That's correct. That drives me insane nope. when I see that posted. So you're better better to call them a uh, du double recessive. Or a leucistic cremino. Absolutely. <laughs> that's what they really are. I don't like them because even if you have color and 100% hat, trading to other color 100% hats, you're still only going to get that color one out of four times. But Here you go, Nadine. What? I don't know if this will post correctly. Let me let me see. What? <laughs> That's not true. 
though for Cremino and Platinum? Dub, where's your Cremino Platinum? Or your Platinum Cremino? <laughs> Sitting at Kathy's house. Oh, really? Kathy, where is it? <laughs> what? McLovin. Oh, McLovin. yeah, McLovin. Yeah. That's You're beautiful. Yeah, I think we can end the plat loo because we're discussing Ruby Lou now. Okay, so I've got a question.